This is BBC News. I'm Lise Doucette, live in Kabul. You're watching a BBC News special on the growing crisis in Afghanistan. The military operation to evacuate tens of thousands of people from Afghanistan is now in its last hours. Many Afghans now fear they will be left behind as they try to flee Taliban rule. Kabul is still reeling from two suicide bombings at the city's airport on Thursday, which killed at least 90 people, including 13 U.S. service personnel. U.S. President Joe Biden has vowed revenge. I'm Philippa Thomas in London as the world prepares for the new reality of Afghanistan under Taliban rule. Pakistan is one of only three countries to maintain an embassy in Kabul. Its ambassador tells us it's wrong to assume terrorists enter Afghanistan from Pakistan. And the humanitarian crisis in the country is deepening, says the World Health Organization, with medicine in short supply. We hear from Afghans across the country facing severe food and water shortages. Plus, I'll be talking to the first American to fight the Taliban in the field as a commander, then talk to its leaders in face-to-face -face negotiations. How does the outside world deal with a new Islamic emirate? Welcome to this BBC News special with me, Lise Doucette in Kabul and Philippa Thomas in London. These are dark hours in Afghanistan and darker still after the savage attack at Kabul International Airport yesterday, which killed at least 90 people. An attack uh, that was claimed by the Islamic State Group, an attack uh, intended to strike a blow against uh, the departing